da 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 so I guess we should start this pickup video with a uh, somewhat controversial, somewhat questionable purchase. Because when I saw this in store shelves, I had to think long and hard as to whether I really wanted to pick this thing up. Because it's kind of a, eh, kind of a murky situation. But decide, but ultimately, I decided, perhaps against my better judgment, to give this game a shot. I picked it up, so I bought myself Star Wars Battlefront 2. For PlayStation 2. Now the reason this was against my better judgments is because I already have this game for the Xbox. It's a fantastic game. I also have this for the PC through Steam and GOG which is probably the best way to play this. Not only because of the keyboard and mouse but if you're into the online thing the online on that works. So this seems like a superfluous purchase but nonetheless I'm kind of curious to see how it holds up against the other versions. Probably not that great but nonetheless it's an adventure, it's a pickup, and you can never go wrong with more Star Wars Battlefront 2 unless it's the new one, allegedly. I've never played those ones, never had much of an interest. And, you know, I don't have a PS4 or an Xbox or whatever, you know, whatever you need. There's, it's on the PC apparently, but you need to go through Origin or whatever the case may be or whatever. Anyways, I don't care for that version. I, I stick with this one. Well, not this one, the, the ones I have, but I guess there's one more to play with. Uh, anyways, <laughs> don't know where I was going with that. Who cares? Anyways, moving on. Aside from that, we got a couple interesting finds here. More or less. We have Fatal Fury, Wild Ambition for PlayStation. The sort of 3D Fatal Fury game. Which is interesting. We have uh, Spider-Man for uh, Sega Genesis. Which is also... Uh, fairly interesting. We're going to move that up because it's interesting. Speaking of interesting and weird and I don't know, Super Bonk for Super Nintendo. And uh, this is a strange little game. I've played Bonk's Adventure ages ago on Turbo Graphics. That was a fun game for the most part. That was a fun game from what I remember. It's been ages. And Super Bonk is weird. It, 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 somewhere along the way, the series apparently went off the rails and we got Super Bonk, but it's an interesting little game. That's as far as I'll go, pretty much. <laughs> Speaking of interesting little games, we have Faria, Faria, a world of mystery and danger. A sort of cross between your role-playing type and your Zelda overhead adventure action game thing which is interesting and speaking of interesting a couple of Super Famicom finds we have Last Bible 3 an Atlas game I don't know what this is but it's a Last Bible game that's all I know I really don't know <laughs> And then we have Magic Sword, also for Super Famicom, which is based on an arcade game. And that's as far as I know, because I played Magic Sword ages ago. It was on one of the Capcom Classic Collection compilation things. And, uh, yeah. So that's the haul for uh, June. Not much, but a couple interesting uh, bits and bobs here and there, for the most part. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, later.